Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to be looking at the contextual challenge and this is basically the theme for your NEA coursework. NEA stands for Non-Examined Assessment. So this is basically your coursework. Now around this time each year the exam board issue three contextual challenges um, this one I've seen on the AQA website, I think they're all the same. I think all the exam boards have the same ones. And there's three contextual challenges. And they do this this year to limit the amount of time you can spend on them. So you can't do it. You've just got a year, basically, to complete it or under a year. And then they give these fairly broad topics for you to choose. So we're just going to look at these, give you some ideas, show you what you need to do next, and try and give you some hints and tips on to how, how to get the, choose the best project for you. So the three um, contextual challenges we've got are climate change, playing games, and securing or storing personal possessions. Now, when you choose these, um, they're fairly broad. So if we say, for example, um, climate change, well, first thing comes to mind is something like a recycling bin rack, a recycling bin or caddy, an innovative solution of, of um, something that already exists, maybe making it out of um, more sustainable, so re-sustainable um, redesign of an existing product, or anything that helps recycling, um, you know, any environmental product. Now, when you start these products, in the um, mark scheme, it basically says that you've you've linked the project, you've linked your NEA to this project. So it's not that important if you choose climate change, for example, and you pick some subject, as long as you link that in the first sheet. So if we just take a quick look at the first sheet, here's, here's a first sheet um, for a, a task analysis. And if you look here with the contextual challenge, this one was from outdoor living a, a year or so ago. The contextual challenge I accept is outdoor living. My aunt has a house. So straight away, when you make this first sheet, as long as you say to the examiner, this is my contextual challenge, this is the one I've chosen, be absolutely clear with that, and then say, this is why I've done it, this is how I see it, this is how I see it's linked. Here I've just got a, 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 a kind of mind map of this this whole thing this one was outdoor living but if you do that as long as you link it 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 the the mark scheme says it, it your you have to link what you're going to do to your contextual challenge and as long as you justify that to the examiner then it's a very very broad you know you've got a very broad choice so we've looked at climate change next one is playing games now i've taken some students and our interpretation that obviously you could make I don't know a basketball hoop you could make something like that um, but a lot of um, something you might want to consider is making um, storage for um, games consoles storage for games um, themselves uh, storage for games controllers a small table or a, a, a unit to put your your uh, gaming on so i think that there's a whole area there so you've got the actual sports games you know um, sports things like that but you've also got um, a whole load of thing about you know games consoles games um, games controllers all that kind of thing I think I've got some students that are pursuing that and that I think that's quite a, an interesting and rich source you can do things like measuring the, the boxes that the game's in measuring the controllers you've got all that to, to go on with that's that's really quite a, I think would be quite an interesting one then last of all we've got securing or storing personal possessions now that one um, if you made some students might have made something like this which is just a little storage box in, in year 10 um, really something like this wouldn't quite do but I mean something like this a little bit bigger with maybe a drawer in the bottom and a little tray in there would be a really simple one the th kind of things that we might be able to store in here would be jewelry tools um, sewing um, a, a sewing box anything like that um, obviously this would be reliant on your client so the next thing I would say, and this is what I say to some students that, of mine, is that if you're not sure about this, so if you're not sure which one of these to pick, 
What's a really good choice is find yourself a good client. So here I've got a client interview thing where we have a location visit and we have a client interview. And if you see here, I've got some client interview notes. And what I can recommend, if, if you're, you're struggling to find one of these, um, if you're struggling to f make a choice here, get a client. I wouldn't recommend using a fellow student client. You're far better to have an adult or maybe even a member of staff obviously not your DT teacher because I don't think that's uh, but a, a, a member of staff who can give you good feedback who can give you um, detailed feedback that you can just add to your coursework so you're, you're officially having someone help you with your coursework because it's your client so if you go to your client if you took a sheet like this and said to your client which one of these do you like I've got these ideas and then think of some questions to answer your client include a photo of the location a photo of the client build that in and then that of course would be your next your next um, sheet so you're allowing your client rather than you saying well I'd like to make this and then finding your client go about it the other way find your client show your client this list and then have a genuinely client driven project which I think is ultimately what the exam board would prefer and I think that really gives you throughout even things like the last section which is evaluation and analysis if you've got a good client and that client's giving you good feedback at stages from your design ideas from your CAD designs then your project will will be improved you will gain marks all the way through even in the analysis and evaluation which is 20 marks at the end that you'll get the bonus of marks there because your client has given you good feedback and you the, the examiner can see that your client is 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 um, your product is client driven okay so there's some ideas as I say we've got client cha uh, climate change which I think is really broad anything that you know that uh, addresses climate change playing games which could be sports or electronic games and securing or storing personal possessions could be toolboxes could be uh, jewelry could be all kinds of things so really a nice wide range and as long as you make sure that in that first sheet on the task analysis you tie that in and then that your client is eloquent and can give you good feedback I think that's good to go. Okay, well thanks for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.